The Prime Minister has met fired-up farmers at the 2023 Bush Summit in Tamworth who turned out to protest against large-scale wind and solar projects in New South Wales. There was also heated discussions about the Voice to Parliament referendum. About 150 farmers pick at the entrance to the Bush Summit in Tamworth, waiting for the Prime Minister's arrival. They are unhappy about transmission lines cutting across farms and what they say is the industrialisation of fertile agricultural land. 20 years time, what are they going to do? We're going to have forests of dead windmills. These things are just destroying our rural amenity. They're uh, that, as if rural people are second class citizens. You wouldn't see any around the city, would you? After his opening address, Mr Albanese says he spoke with a few of the protesters. What they wanted uh, was to make sure there was proper consultation, that every uh, factor was taken into account, including ensuring that prime agricultural land uh, was not... Uh, not adversely affected. Rolling out 28,000 kilometres of poles and wires as the government is proposing is not only incredibly expensive, uh, it's not the most efficient way of spending taxpayers' money. The Prime Minister also announced a $38 million fund to go towards universities to conduct long-term trials of climate change resilient farming practices. This investment will build a long-term evidence base to accelerate the adoption of best practices across the agricultural sector. In a Q&A discussion, there was a heated exchange with an audience member when the topic turned to the voice to parliament referendum. I don't think a voice to parliament is going to fix all those problems. We want you to be able to sit down with us. I respect the view that you've put forward. And there is no question that not Every Indigenous person has the same position. The Prime Minister has used some of his time while in Tamworth to tour a, a barley farm and has welcomed China's decision to drop an 80% tariff on Australian farming and what he says is improving relations with our overseas trading partners. This will make an enormous difference. The industry was worth in exports to China uh, over $900 million in 2019. Today, the prospects are it's worth substantially more. The New South Wales Premier was also confronted by protesters. On the deal, Christmas! On the deal, Christmas! The Premier had an announcement of his own, a doubling of the financial incentives that have been in place for the past year, from $10,000 to $20,000 for health workers who relocate to regional and remote areas in an attempt to address crippling workforce shortages in the bush. We have to grow our rural and regional workforce in remote areas. The Bush Summit travels to Perth on Monday. Kenny Heatley, Sky News, Tamworth.